bird. Remember when you were a puppy? One puppy, two puppy on a puppy bed. The littlest one has fur that's I'm red. kind of new, so I'll stick with you. I like new places, seeing lots of new faces. And before this day's through, we'll make good friends like you. special guest. This is Ken Burns, and he makes documentaries. Hi, everybody. Hi! What's a documentary? Great question. A documentary is a movie that tells a true story and uses real people instead of actors. Want to hear about the one I'm making now? Sure. It's about pets. Do any of you have a pet? How about you? What kind of pet do you have? A puppy. His name's Clifford. He's lots of fun. He's always ready to play. And he's my best friend. Now I can tell. I love pets, too. That's why I decided to do a documentary about them. Are you having fun making your documentary? I am, but it's also a lot of hard work. Which you're about to find out. Huh? Find out. This month, you're going to take turns using the school's video camera to make your own documentaries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, Shun. Why don't you, Emily Elizabeth, and Nina go first? Oh, wow. Oh, I can't wait. All right. The first thing you need to do is decide what your documentary will be about. Remember, it should be something that's really important to you. Well, we all really love our pets. That's a great idea, Emily Elizabeth. But since Mr. Burns is already doing that topic, maybe you should try something else? But you're on the right track. What else do you three really care about? Hmm. We love our neighborhood. The people are great. Hey, that's it. Our documentary can be about the people in our neighborhood. Great idea. First, we can talk to Mr. Solomon at his art studio. Oh, and then Miss Grouse at the pet store. <gasps> and wouldn't it be fun to visit the bakery? You sound like a natural producer. I do? Oh, that's great. What's a producer? The producer is like a team leader. They plan the documentary and make sure everybody knows what to do. That sounds like Nina, all right. She loves planning stuff. How do you like that camera, Shun? Oh, it's awesome! Then maybe you should be the camera person. Okay. Camera person. <laughs> what should my job be? What do you like to do? Well, I, I love to read. That's perfect. It is? You can be the interviewer. That means you read about your subject and write down important questions to ask people. Okay, that sounds great. Well, it looks like you three are ready to go. Okay, Clifford, I've read a lot of books about people's jobs. Now I need to practice asking questions. So you pretend to be Mr. Solomon. Ruff, ruff. Okay, how long have you been painting? Ruff, 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 ruff. And what is it about painting that you like the most? <laughs> Great answer. Nice talking with you, Mr. Solomon. <laughs> hmm. 
Now, let's see what it looks like if I turn the camera like this. Cool. Now let's see if I dim the lights. Ugh, very cool. I've got to remember that. Okay, this is everything I need to keep things organized. A stopwatch to keep us on schedule. An alarm clock to make sure we don't take too long. And, in case I have to talk to any large groups of people, a megaphone! Jorge, that's my schedule. Oh. Okay, you can sleep there, but tomorrow morning I'm going to need it back. What's the name of the book you're working on? Flo and Zoe and Who They Know. I think that... Wait a second. What's wrong? I think the light could be better. I did this thing last night in my room, and it was really neat. So, Mr. Solomon, hold it! It's still not quite right. Shun, don't, don't you think this is too... You're right. It's still too bright. Shun, I don't think Mr. Solomon can see the animals. And we can't see Mr. Solomon. <laughs> okay, that might be too dark. Oops. I'm sorry we didn't have enough time to do the interview with Mr. Solomon. I'll leave the lights alone this time. And I'll make sure we don't fall behind schedule again. We better get started right now. Are you ready to begin the interview, Ms. Grouse? Well, I sure am. Well, this should be fun. <laughs> sorry, I'll get that. Wedding cake. It's my own special recipe. Mmm, that sounds delicious. It's time for the eggs. We need seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many years have you had this bakery? Three, four, five, six. Seven. Was that three years or three eggs? Uh, what? Uh, years, I think. Now I must put in six cups of pineapple. That's one, two, three. How many layers will this cake have? Two. Three, four, five, six cups of pineapple. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that two layers of cake or two cups of pineapple? I don't know. <sighs> but, but now it's time to mix it all up. Oh, I think maybe there are a few extra ingredients in there. Zero. 
What a disaster. We spent all day working on our documentary, but have nothing to show for it. Look at Clifford. He's trying to get close to those butterflies. I can't believe how quiet he's being. And how still. I know, he's not disturbing them at all. I wish we'd acted more like Clifford today when we were filming. Then I wouldn't have turned the lights off on Mr. Solomon. I would have left them just the way they were. And I wouldn't have taken all those loud things into the pet shop. The noise really upset all the animals. How about me? I asked so many questions, the cake got ruined. All we cared about was what we were doing. We didn't even think about anyone else. Well, we do have the camera for another day. How about we give it another try? Oh, great idea, Shun. Right, but this time we'll be more like Clifford. And now for the most important part, the candles. Do you think my customer will be happy with their birthday cake? Thanks, Emily, Elizabeth, Shun, and Nina. That was a terrific documentary. I could tell just by watching how much you care about your neighbors. Do you think the project helped you learn more about them? <laughs> it sure did. And you know, I think we also learned a little bit more about ourselves, too. <laughs> <laughs> game and couldn't wait to share it. But when they opened the box, they couldn't find any rules. And no one knew how to play. Then Speckle had a great idea. The group could make up their own rules for the game. <laughs> Robbie spun a three, so he had to make the funniest face he possibly could. <laughs> And when Speckle landed on a green square, his challenge was to juggle. <laughs> or at least try to. It was so much fun, they played for the rest of the afternoon, enjoying the rules and the game that they all made up together. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Basketball babysitter. <laughs> Coming to you, Emily Elizabeth. Great play, Evan! <laughs> Just call me Alan Houston. Why? Alan Houston? He's only one of the greatest guards ever. And guess what, guys? I'm gonna get to see him play. Wow! You got tickets? Where did you get those, Evan? From Coach Davis. He's old friends with Alan Houston. He gave me these tickets because I scored the winning basket in today's game. How lucky is that? Well, I guess that makes you lucky too, Emily Elizabeth. Because you're going with me. I am? Sure. You've always been my biggest fan. The least I could do is treat you to a game. <laughs> I think 
think you'd make a good basketball player too, Clifford. Ruff. Now let's see. What else do I need for the game? Maybe a sweater. <gasps> That's Evan. Time to go. So long, Clifford. Hello there. Hello. <gasps> Look at all the fans. And the building is so big. Uh-huh. It's pretty cool. Tickets? Hey, aren't you a little cutie? Um, thanks. Hmm, gee, everyone is so friendly around here. <laughs> right this way. Here you go. Wow, these are great seats, Evan. Right behind the bench. And here they come. I don't see Alan Houston. There he is! I am so psyched. Alan Houston is my hero. And we're sitting right behind him. Boy, this is perfect. Clifford? Clifford? You're not supposed to be here. Now we'll have to take him home before we get in trouble. No, Evan! Look! That little girl has a puppy with her, too! Hey, that's Alan Houston's daughter, Remy. She goes to all the games with her mom. And my name is Evan. Well, Remy, it looks like you made some new friends. That's Evan. Oh, you must be Coach Davis's player. He told me you'd be here tonight. Do you want to sit with us during the game? Okay. That'd be great, because her mom isn't here. She's home with a bad cold. Usually, she sits with Remy during the games and keeps her company. Oh, don't worry. We'll keep Remy company. My friend Evan babysits me all the time. He's so much fun. Right, Evan? Evan! Huh? I told Alan Houston that we would keep Remy company during the game. Are you sure you don't mind? Mind? Evan? Uh, uh oh, oh, uh, sure, no problem. Thanks, I appreciate it. Have a great time, okay? Okay, Daddy. You too, Hoops. Wow! I just spoke to Alan Houston. <laughs> I know. Such a great game. You want to play clap, clap, clap? Clap, clap? Uh, sure, if you show me how. <laughs> You're pretty good at this, Remy. <laughs> what happened? Alan just stole the ball from the other team and scored a basket. He missed it. Oh, well. That's okay. He'll make a lot more great plays tonight. I'll see the next one. Sorry, I didn't want to step on your toes. Just, just, excuse me. What 
happened? Alan Houston just hit a basket from outside for three points. He did? Well, that's okay. There's still plenty of time. You guys stick around here, okay? <laughs> You want a hot dog, Grammy? With mustard? Emily Elizabeth, how about a hot dog? Sure, Evan. Thanks. Three hot dogs, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, Remy wants mustard. Just made a perfect alley-oop pass. What a great play. Hey, you got some mustard on your shirt there, Chief. going on in this game. It's really exciting. The game is tied with only two seconds left. Really? I hope Alan gets the ball. Me too. Alan's got the ball. He's gonna shoot. Yay, Daddy! Oh, oh, oh! No problem. Daddy! Did you have fun today? Yes. Thanks for keeping Remy company. It looks like she had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, sure. It was great. Actually, he missed a lot of it. He was busy helping Remy. Oh, that's too bad. It's okay. I, I guess I can watch basketball anytime. And he can play basketball, too. You should see him. He's great. Oh, I'm not that good. Oh, yes, he is. All right. How about a little one-on-one? One-on-one? -on -one? With you? Now? Sure, why not? Unless you're too tired. Uh, yes, absolutely, let's do it. Okay, come on. Thanks, Emily Elizabeth. This is one of the greatest nights of my life. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thank you too, Clifford. <laughs> Someone else. Shh. The little ones are asleep, Clifford. I'm afraid all of this noise will wake them up. When that happens, it's time to show some respect. We're sorry, Mr. Sadarsky. We forgot it was their nap time. Hey, why don't we take the game outside? <laughs> <laughs> 
Playing out here is a lot more fun. Having respect isn't hard at all. Clifford and his friends know that being considerate of others is really easy, and it can make a big difference. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is how 